Well, hello into people, how are you guys doing? And welcome back to another World Autism Awareness Week video. And today, I'm showing you some memes. Now, if you are familiar with my channel, you know I love a good meme. You know I love talking about memes. And this video, it's no different. And hopefully by showing you guys some memes that I really like, it might just improve your understanding of autism. And really just to show you guys that autism shouldn't be a scary thing. And actually, if you have the right way of talking about it, you can make things very, very relatable, and I feel this is what this series that I have on this channel does. But if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more autism videos and just general discussions about autism, just through my own experiences. And this is a World Autism Awareness Week video, and I have been doing a video every single day. So if you haven't seen any other videos from this week, there's a playlist at the top of the description for you. Okay, so, first meme. Do you know how you have those people that try to come up and talk to you when you're trying to calm down and you say, oh, can I just have a minute? And they say, yeah, yeah, it's all fine. It's all fine, it's all good. And then they come back and start talking at you. Well, I have a meme for that. There you go. Basically, it's just that whole thing of when you're in a social situation and being autistic and stuff. Sometimes social situations and just situations in general can be overwhelming. Like for example, shopping. I hate shopping. It's just one of the things I hate doing, but I have to do it, you know? Sometimes if it's just too much or whatever, I just sometimes need a few seconds or a minute just to chill and just gather my thoughts. Because, you know, if I have time to gather my thoughts, then, you know, I'm actually able to continue doing that thing. But to me, when I'm having that minute or so just to figure out my life, basically, it doesn't help when people keep coming to ask me if I'm alright. Like, I appreciate the concern, but personally, for me, please just let me be just to gather my thoughts. I just need time to actually think things through before actually acting upon them and just carrying on with things. I love this one because damn seagulls are annoying and like sometimes people can be like seagulls, like they could just be like noisy and just ugh. You know how seagulls are really annoying? They're just really noisy when they go ah! You know, it's just really, really annoying. I know that was, that sounded more like a monkey than a seagull, but never mind. Next, my- <laughs> And then once you're done with your social interaction, you just want to just come home and just make yourself a little bit reclusive because, you know, being autistic and that, if you're in a situation for a long period of time and you're just becoming exposed to a lot of different things, sometimes you just need that time to yourself to be able to recuperate, build that energy back up. And this meme just completely and utterly signifies that for me. As much as I love talking to people and as much as I love social interaction, there are just times where I just want to be in a hut in the middle of the forest and just not talk to people and just recuperate and just, I don't know. It's just one of those things that I need to personally do from time to time, you know, just get into my little mind palace, I guess, you know, that kind of Thing, you know, really just to recuperate. Then I'll come back all flowery and peppery and... What am I even saying? You know what I mean. You know, when you've gone for a break for quite a while, then you come back and you just feel normal and just feel like you can take on the world. NEXT move. There's been so many times where I have a very articulate thought and I try to say it out of my face and it just... It just goes. I do quite like how kind of dark this is because I'm a person that really does appreciate dark humour even though some people might not like that sort of humour. I personally like it. And the reason this one relates to autism, it's because of that whole thing of getting what you have in your head and then speaking it out. It can be difficult trying to process that. It, it sounds strange but I have this issue where you know, I have an articulate thought that I want to say, but it doesn't come out the way that I want to say it. It sometimes gets jumbled up with other words. My thoughts just go into the wind, into the darkness, into the car park, I don't know. And, you know, they just get lost in a sea of dead thoughts and stuff like that. And it's just like, yeah, it just takes all the boxes, you know, short, it's in my favourite colour as well, that really helps. And also, it's 
it's just dark, it's just funny, it's just so, so relatable to me as a person because I do it all of the time. Next meme. You know when you just have a topic that you really, really love, right, and you just want to tell people about it? And you start talking to people about it, but you don't actually realise that it can actually be annoying when you talk about it over and over and over and over again. Well, this is something that autistic people also do. It's not just non-autistic people, it's people with autism as well. And actually, I'm very much guilty of this. Like, for example, YouTube. I'll talk to my fiance, Nicola, for hours about YouTube. I'll talk about thumbnails, I'll talk about video ideas, I'll talk about my setup, I'll talk about future things that happen with the channel, I'll talk about other projects. You know, I'll just talk for hours and hours about YouTube because it's something that I really love. It is a real passion of mine, but it is literally just info dumping on my fiance because sometimes I don't know when to stop. You have to literally tell me, Andy, stop talking about YouTube. It is annoying as hell. Stop, stop. Not aggressively like that, but you get the idea. The only reason that myself and other autistic people may do this is just because we are passionate about it and we just want to tell people about our passions. And actually, it's actually a way of breaking the ice socially. Though I do appreciate that talking about our special interests and our obsessions might not be for everyone. I appreciate that, but sometimes it's just hard to stop. I think it's super relatable to me. I love the design as well. I mean, trumpets. Who doesn't love a good trumpet? Going, <laughs> you know, who doesn't love that? This next meme, it's actually very relating to the last one I talked about, you know, in that conversation about special interests, obsessions. Well, to be honest, an obsession over something that you love is not actually a bad thing, you know, it can be really, really beneficial, it can open so many doors. And also some autistic people, if they have a real special interest and they really get into it and work hard, who knows, you don't know what's going to happen. They might be able to make a career out of it. And actually, obsession can actually be a good thing for autistic people, you know, it can be a driving force for them to learn new things. You know, especially if it's encouraged as well. People can have obsessions, but at the same time, it's kind of a good thing that people can get obsessed over things quite easily because, you know, they're going to be interested in that thing and engross themselves in it. There are times though where you can have an unhealthy obsession over something and that's where you kind of need to draw the line. Obsession can be a really, really good thing, especially if there are people around the autistic person who you know, encourage that obsession. Now, I was gonna do five memes, like the number five is a good number for me. However, I'm gonna throw a bonus meme at you. And this one is something I realized I do quite often, and I think maybe some of you do the exact same thing. Do you know when you're alone at home, right? And, you know, you're trying to look for things or you're trying to do something. How many of you actually talk to yourselves? <laughs> I'm gonna admit, I talk to myself so often, and I don't even think it's an autism related thing. It's a people thing, I feel, but I think it's more prevalent in autism just because it's just a natural coping mechanism for some autistic people. It helps me specifically because if I verbalize what I need to do, or if I've lost something, like I'll say to myself, oh, where did I put that thing? And it just gets my mind going. It's kind of like when you're talking to someone like I am now with my hands, I'll just do hand gestures just to put my point across. It's kind of like that, only it seems a little bit strange, you know, someone talking to themselves. To be honest, I talk to myself all of the time. In fact, I have conversations with myself quite often and actually it helps jog things for me. It actually helps me find answers to problems that I've come across. Like I've had all sorts of conversations with myself, uh, the meaning of life, uh, how I'm going to cook tea, all those kinds of questions. Like seriously, I have real conversations with myself on a lot of different things. Super relatable. I do it constantly. And also, it's just super, super simple. Super, super simple. That's what I love about memes. They can be so simple, 
but so relatable. I hope you found this video really, really useful. I love it. What was your favorite meme from this video? And also, if you have a meme for me that you want me to react to in this series, there's my social medias. Message me, at me, do whatever it is to get my attention and then I'll try and pop it in this series of videos because I love making this series and I hope you guys do as well. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button so I know and if you're brand new, consider subscribing. Stay you, stay indie, have a great day guys and I'll see you tomorrow for the last video of World Autism Awareness Week. See you later guys.